So, I finally decided to mow today, and, uh, well, this is how it starts. <laughs> uh, it's pulling some weeds, and, uh, apparently, well, they were pretty tall, so, I mean, they need to be cut anyway. Kind of got a little cut right there, too, but that's obviously the bigger one of the two. So, I'm gonna wash my hands real quick first and then maybe get to work. A nice spider there too. Hello spider. Oh, a pasty ball. <sighs> so I've been out here for a few hours and uh, well <laughs> I'm debating now. I'm not debating. I know what I'm going to do. Um, because all I have left is here in behind the fence, as you can see. I mean, that's pretty bad. And, uh, behind the fence. When I say behind the fence, I mean just, like, behind the fence. Oh, hey. That guy's, uh, cutting down the trees. Cool. But, here you can see the front yard is done. Uh, over here is done except for up in there, but that's behind the fence, so it doesn't count. And uh, all of this behind my big poofy thing. And uh, all that area up in there by my fire hydrant. And look, this done, pretty much. You know, I got these few passes here, but other than that, I mean, I got all that area back there done. I got all this area over here done. So, I mean, I was glad when I was by that tree over there that I just happened to be paying attention. There's a, I almost walked into a spider web with my face. Yeah, I have a little uh, black and yellow spider in it. So, <laughs> he had kind of a yellow butt, whatever you call that. The, sack in the back with black spots on it but uh and honestly part of the reason i want to go ahead and get all of this done as you can see is uh i uh i don't want to give that snake that i found a chance you know i don't want to give him any tall grass to hide in so he was kind of uh he was yellow and black long ways i don't know i don't know what kind of snake that makes him but that's you know, he ran away. <laughs> it's not like he attacked. It's not like he coiled up and attacked. So that's good. But uh, to get all of that back there behind me complete, and this section here in front of me, uh, it means I have to go get gas. So hopefully that little gas station's still open, or I'm going to have to go to one that's a little bit further and a little bit busier. So uh, let's cross fingers. Can you tell where I walked through here earlier? Kind of a little path, like right through there. Yeah, I'm not walking through there again, just in case uh, that snake is in there somewhere. He's back. Still not in focus. Woo! There he is. In all of his glory. I should probably kill him before he gets inside. Oh. I did something to piss him off. Alright, well I am back from uh, my little adventure here on September the 16th, uh, 2010. I guess I'll go ahead and give you the date since this is going to turn into its own little vlog. Wasn't in the mood to hold the camera, so I've got my long pile of DVDs <laughs> going over there to uh, hold the camera up for me. So I was, uh, well, the good, well, maybe not good news, I don't know, it's not exactly bad news, but uh, it's not exactly interesting or really that impressive either, unfortunately, but uh, I ended up getting like, I took an extra dollar with me, <laughs> and uh, just in case, and uh, it ended up coming up to 501 in gas, so uh, I told the guy, you know, I had the 501 in gas, and he's like, ah, that's close enough, and he just took my $5 bill and let me pass, you know, I'm like, oh, well, that's cool. 
Thanks a lot. I get some more drink of my water too. But uh, the main thing was when I was walking, I was just to that last little stretch. I think I think that's the east side of the street, not the west side of the street. I'm not gonna tell you which street, but I think that's the east side. I was getting up to the last little stretch of that, and uh, I could see like two cop cars sitting there at the one end, and one of them had their lights going. And then I could see all the way down uh, at the corner, at the gas station I was walking to, uh, there were more flashing lights, but uh, that one was a tow truck. So, uh, I mean, I don't really see anything going on, but since there's two cop cars sitting there, I'm like, well, I figured it had to be a little bit more than a, you know, a little bit more than a just regular traffic stop or, you know, speeder or something. And uh, as I got closer, I walked around the the uh, the tow truck, and uh, like there there was this tiny little black car with like the whole like the front bumper was just missing and crunched in. So uh, I mean, it wasn't like you know it was it was it was it was probably like a head-on, but not like a bad head-on. I mean, it wasn't like the whole you know the whole. Uh, hood was crunched or anything, it was just, you know, the the bumper had fallen off and the lights had smashed and there it was a little bit bent, you know, and then there there was a little bit of a bend in the back as I was walking away too. So, uh <laughs> I don't know what happened, but uh I apparently just missed it. Anyway, that's really the only interesting stories that I wanted to share from my little travel today. So I've got the gas out there, and I've got gas in the machine, so uh, I just need to grab my iPod from the charger and uh, get going again. Well guys, it is all done. Yay. I even kind of uh, chopped up this stuff here, or at least attempted to, because uh, we know what happened the last time I just tried to pull the shit. Don't we? Uh, I'm pretty glad that I went ahead and finished that up. Because <laughs> otherwise I was going to have to do some of it on my weekend, and that would not have been... I would not have appreciated that, I can say that for sure. And it was one of those mornings that uh, I just slept in the chair all morning. And uh, <laughs> I was awake at... or like I kind of forced myself awake at about... I think it was two something by the time I saw it on the clock. Uh, it's 5.46 now, Central Standard Time, whatever that means. <laughs> I can't think of words. I will say I thought that was the frickin' semi again, but it was the UPS truck. Now every time that I hear something that even sounds remotely like a semi, I'm like popping up in my chair and looking out. I'm like, bitch, the camera's coming out next time. That was a lot easier. Um, I went ahead and... God, I think I have a bug in my ear. The highest I could get it was 8 inches. Uh, and I guess I, I had it set on 4, so I usually mow it... Uh, <laughs> I usually mow it at least twice as far down. I'm terrible at math. Don't trust me on that one, especially when I'm tired. But yeah, I went from 4 inches to 8. So... I, I know it's supposed to be the other way, the other way around, 8 to 4, and I kind of... I kind of would like to do that, um, especially now that I have the gas to do it. I mean, as it turns out, I can go a long way on, you know, one tank of gas. Because, I mean, when I stopped out there, that was the first tank of gas. It got the front, it got the two sides, and it got most of the back behind the fence. So, I mean, I was, I was at least three-fourths done by that point. So... It's kind of nice when you don't have to stop and pull shit out from underneath the mower. I mean, you know, my fingers aren't all green and nasty. <laughs> well, they might be a little bit of nasty because I just a little bit of dirt under there, but they're not green. Well, they are green goblin, though. That was nice. It's all done up, and I'm gonna have to mow it sooner than I usually do, but that's fine. I mean, I let it go how many weeks this time? Uh, hell, I don't know. <laughs> many, many, many weeks. Of course, the last few days it's been raining, so there wasn't really anything I could do about it. The intention is to not have to do it again until I get back from vacation. 
So that'll be two and a half, three weeks, I guess. But like I said, uh, <laughs> it's it's been a while since I've mowed it and it got that tall. So we'll see what happens. It was a nice day because it was sixty sixty nine giggle when uh, when I went out there to begin with at like you know two three ish in the afternoon. It's up to seventy now. I don't know if I have a sunburn. I can't really tell up there, but it's kind of feeling a little bit like, uh, oh, you know, I don't know if tight is the word, but a little bit like, because at the end, at first it was overcast. So, I mean, that was what was keeping it nice and cool, but then the clouds went away and the sun popped out. So, I mean, I didn't have my sunglasses on or sunscreen, but it still wasn't that bad. <sighs> I don't know for sure. It's six o'clock. I may try to stay up and go to work. Um, because, I mean, if I'm going to lay down, I'd kind of like to take a shower before I do, or I could just sleep some more here in the chair. Set an alarm and just uh, get up at 8.30-ish. <laughs> I've always been curious if it would work if I went to sleep as soon as I got home and slept for a while. And then, you know, because I know some people do that who work overnight, so they, uh, they go to sleep as soon as they get home, and then they wake up in the afternoon, and then they're up all day, and then, you know... I would think that would make you tired by the end of the night, but I don't know. I've never tried it, so I guess I can't knock it. Knock boots. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to... <laughs> I think I'm gonna... <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Allergies. <coughs> I think I'm gonna have to take a, a nap or something, because I can tell my brain is slowing way down. At this point... <laughs> So yeah, I mean, before this gets any longer than it needs to be, because it's just about mowing, and that's pretty much it, uh, I'm a sign-off. So you guys have a great day, and I'm going to enjoy my weekend now that I don't have to do anything other than the fun stuff that I want to do, like the concert with Mark. So that'll be awesome, especially since I don't have to mow. Farts and titties.